Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. What turned out to be a cloudy and much cooler day than what we've been accustomed to here the last couple of days. In fact, about a 20 to 25 degree temperature difference right now, which we'll show you here in just a moment compared to this time yesterday afternoon. Of course, we were bracing for the possibility of those strong to severe storms that moved through last night. No rain today, but the clouds have been kind of stubborn to leave. Uh, here are the numbers for Evansville for today. 60 the high. That was right around 4 o'clock this morning. That cold front moved through ushering in those chillier temperatures and we've been in the mid-50s for most of the day. Normal high is in the mid-50s so really not too far off from where we typically, what we typically see this time of the year. 50 the low temperature about 10 10 30 this morning uh, and we are actually, we have risen at least from the 4 o'clock hour up a degree in Evansville from 53 to 54 as we're starting to slowly see some breaks in the clouds especially towards Towards the northwest. No rain to speak of this evening, and we're really going to be staying relatively calm and quiet for the next several days. Our next chance of rain not in the forecast until we get to the second half of next week. But as I mentioned last night, we were watching those strong to severe storms moving through, and based on the storm reports, you can see it was pretty much confined to areas along and north of the Ohio River, more specifically up closer to the U.S. 50 corridor, where we had several reports of wind damage, wind gust reports, and some hail uh, from time to time as well. And there's that funnel cloud report northwest of Flora and near the Louisville area later uh, yesterday evening after the seven o'clock hour. But again, no issues uh, to speak of. A little on the breezy side. So with those cooler temperatures and that breeze, it does feel a little on the chilly side. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. A live look right now from our Ellis Park Tower camera. Traffic on the Twin Bridges looking just fine. Clouds still holding on, but we are starting to see a few peaks in the sun uh, of sunshine, especially the further north and northwest that you travel. If you're headed up north North, say Highway 41, get closer to Princeton and uh, closer to Southern Knox County, you'll start to see some more sunshine. Solid area clouds from downtown uh, Owensboro from our Bill Morgan Roofing Tower camera and high atop Fifth Third Bank looking towards the bend in the Ohio. You can see some of those rays starting to break through now in the clouds. So it's a very gradual clearing trend that we're starting to see, uh, but it is taking its time moving from the northwest down to the southeast. As I mentioned, we're up a degree over the last hour in Evansville at 54, 56 up in Princeton. That's a jump of uh, about three degrees since the last hourly update and still some upper 50s to the northwest where places like Florida on the Fairfield over Carmine and White County you've seen more of the sunshine over the last couple of hours and some low 50s across western Kentucky where unfortunately we really haven't gotten out of the uh, cloud cover for today but as I mentioned a moment ago 20 to 25 degrees colder right now compared to this time yesterday where we had a high temperature in Evansville yesterday of 79 degrees so a big difference but again it's just showing how much above Above normal we are because we're close to average uh, at this hour right now but here's satellite and radar showing that clearing trend slowly and methodically kind of working its way down uh, to the southeast some thinner clouds building back towards the west so I think overall will eventually turn mostly clear tonight just a few off on clouds and we could see some more cloud cover redevelop especially east of Highway 41, closer to daybreak on Saturday morning. But severe weather today confined down to the south along the Gulf Coast, where we have a couple of severe thunderstorm watch boxes in southern Texas, including the Houston area, and then out towards eastern Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and at least a portion there of the uh, Florida Panhandle, where it looks like primarily severe thunderstorm warnings so far, not quite the, uh, the setup that we had yesterday with the severe thunderstorm and tornadic potential as well. But here's Future Tracker, an updated Future Tracker, I think showing a pretty good job of that clearing line that's going to continue to push to the east southeast by 10 o'clock future tracker has most of the tri-state with the exception of maybe our far southeastern counties relatively cloud free and that should be the trend through most of tonight as I mentioned a few clouds could redevelop in our eastern and southeastern counties by daybreak tomorrow here we are at 5 30 showing areas again east of highway 41 getting some of that cloud cover as well but a good amount of sunshine for your Saturday we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds warmer but breezy as temperatures get into the low to middle 60s with uh, those breezy winds out of the west southwest at 10 to at times 20 miles per hour. They'll turn to the northwest tomorrow night and Sunday staying pretty breezy but that's going to usher in some cooler temperatures back to near normal on Sunday. Again a mix of sun and clouds but high temperatures generally 10 degrees colder compared to tomorrow will be in the low to mid 50s and then even colder air works its way through Sunday night Monday as that cold front finally pushes across the tri-state getting highs only in the low to mid 40s for our Monday. So a 
chilly start to the work week, and we could have a few areas of clouds at times, mostly cloudy. I think a brief period of Monday overall, again, a mix of sun and clouds for the first half of the week. But overnight tonight, we'll fall through the uh, mid to upper 30s, right around 40 degrees in the Evansville metro, especially if you clear out, you'll fall through the four, 30s uh, a lot faster than some of those areas southeast of Evansville that hold on to the clouds. Tomorrow, again, mix of sun and clouds, mid 60s for your high temperature. St. Patrick's Day looking okay, again, a little bit cooler than tomorrow, mid 50s, breezy conditions, mix of sun and clouds again Monday, first day of spring, getting back to normal once again, upper 50s to near 60, and then back into the 60s later next week. A next system coming through right now looks like later Thursday into Friday. Some models want to bring it in Wednesday night and early Thursday, so we'll fine tune the timing here as we go through the next several days.